I would love to look at mine. I'm, I'm gonna record it. Just so people can feel my pain as well. Man, I was gonna wait to start this vlog when I got to a track. But welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, we're heading down to Anderson Raceway for a local. Uh, gonna have a gonna have a good time. Gonna have a blast. It's just been a hectic day already. Uh, Was we'll trying to leave Miguel's house early. Uh, went to his backyard to pick up the trailer. It had rained all night. Truck sunk straight to the ground. Uh, so we got stuck for a little bit. And then Miguel uses his truck, first gear, thank God, still works. He's able to pull me out. Got the trailer hooked up. I put in Anderson Raceway Park, but it shot me 50 minutes away. Because I was like, this doesn't look familiar at all. I've been down here. It doesn't look familiar. So, I'm 50 minutes away from the track now. I'm not going to make it the first practice. Hopefully, I finish putting the motor on the car and some odd end things here and there and make it out for second practice for sure so <laughs> it's been one of those days I don't know if I want it to rain or not because I really want to spend the rest of the day wet so hopefully it stays dry we have some good racing uh, all to all the new people that came out to Anderson Raceway uh, awesome uh, good luck for CKNA uh, first round at Bushnell South. Um, I am planning on running that race. Uh, it's going to be a big turnout for 206s. Some people are upset that we're not down there, but we want to help people grow. And I thought it would be better to go see the new guys at Anderson, uh, help them out for the first local so they can continue on in the sport because that's what we need is the sport to grow. Uh, I will be down in Charlotte. Uh, it will be a battle in round two of uh, me against the stalls. So, should be fun. Should be a blast. Uh, definitely going to try to get to the track sooner or later. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button. Thanks for everything. Thanks for coming out, guys. And uh, remember to say when you see me. Uh, hopefully, I'll catch you on track soon enough and remember always send it finally made it to the track and missed second practice just doing a little changes just i'm actually putting it together now so uh yeah qualifying should be should be interesting track looks fast uh junior right now is i believe p1 and then we have for heavy side Peter and Heat is P2. Oh no, Chris. Chris number two. He's he's fast time for heavy. A really freaking fast time for heavy too. And then Chris is doing good. And then it shows them out there as well. So Yeah, they'll fix all that later on. Took me a minute, finally done. Ha! All right. I didn't know how we had this much of time between, uh, holy crap, look at my hair again. Uh, between final practice and qualify. So we got a good bit of time, but glad we're done. I think someone might have been a little underweight. Driver mean might have started. Senior was getting fuel. <laughs> I was putting my card up because they just came from tech. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, I got I haven't checked the front end on it. So I'm gonna do that before qualifying. Senior went fast for his only practice. Dang, this one is making my hair look like I have a toupee. <laughs> or I could be bald. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what they say in drivers mean. I got the same problem with my hair in the wind. I've seen people put on tires. So I snag up their old tires. Nope. 
Most of them are still running old tires. Dang it. Come on, put new tires on so I have some brand new tires. Uh, qualifying out of the way. I apologize now. I forgot to turn on the camera. Uh, went P3. Uh, no gear changes or anything I did. I just put on some uh, some really worn uh, wet tires because the tracks like semi wet, semi not. Uh, senior went the fastest out of the slick guys because he went on wet, uh, rain, uh, dry tires. Chris went P4. Roy took pole. Congratulations to him in the number 411. He he's a uh, p2 so uh i'm just gonna leave the cart alone i'm not gonna do any gear changes gear stuff or nothing i'm just gonna ride like that because i was just 0.019 off the pole so it was, it's really good i am gonna adjust these pedals and push them out a little bit and uh basically that's it no more changes and hopefully it doesn't rain anymore for the rest of the day i would love to look at mine i'm, I'm gonna record it so people feel my pain as well. Three files in the book. P1. Chris, where'd you end up? P6? Yep. Nicest driver on track. Chris, letting people pass. I'm going for the so nice. nice. Heat, P4. That, that, that right? P4 heat? Yeah. Heat is Mercedes Benz, P4. Um, drives like a Benz. Nice. No, it does not drive like a Benz. Ignore that comment horrible comment junior p3 in class in class yeah. p3 in class p6 in our hearts and then um senior was on slicks i didn't lap him though and yeah, i ended up, I right? up p1 so no okay too late now <laughs> so we're uh getting ready for the finals hopefully it's a completely dry track Everybody else is out there running dries. Um, packing up, going to head home. I'm going to apologize now. I didn't record the pre final. Well, I hit play, but I guess the battery wasn't changed on it. So, I'm sorry. It's just me a lot. I'm a lot of talking for me. It's boring the video. But thanks for everybody that came out, all the new guys. I hope you guys are having fun. Uh, all the questions asked, you know, more than happy to help. Uh, getting ready for to watch some more racing and then uh send in the finals so definitely excited let's see what's happening here we go to the finals uh again sorry i didn't record the qualifying pre-final pre-final was a pretty good race uh, i was able to make a move on roy take the lead and then stay out in front barely here in the finals uh i get a good start um you know we all get away pretty clean and it looked like it was going to be a really good race but there happened to be an incident uh behind us that took away half the field so it was really a two-cart race after that and uh, i could never shake second place at all chris uh, i have to thank miguel uh, he put this motor together after i uh had issues with the last one and decided to check out uh never had an issue with the engine didn't change gear at all I uh, found out that this last run, I wasn't hitting the rev limiter uh, until the very, very end of the straightaway, if that. Uh, so I ne definitely needed a gear change. And then when I asked uh, uh, Chris behind me, he was nice enough to tell me what gear he want was on. And I was about a tooth, tooth and a half off all weekend. But the cart handled great. So I was able to, you know, drive through it. Um, Heath was much faster than myself. Roy was really fast. Uh, Ron was super fast. Ron was really, really fast. So, really, I mean, I wasn't the fastest cart on track, but the cart was able to handle so well, and Chris never made a, a hard move on me that that I wasn't able to de defend him off. Um, I I did have plenty of speed, and I know the draft would have helped out. So, if he would have gotten by me, I would have been too worried. Uh, I usually don't show my feet, but... I have a different fairing on and I went back to the old fairing so the camera shows my feet again. Uh, here with three laps to go, this is the only time that I felt that I had to really uh, place the cart where it needed to be placed and uh, defend a, a little bit more than uh, usual and then I was just thinking about an area where he could pass me and it was just going into his last hairpin. 
Uh, I could feel him coming up pretty good in this section of the track. So I would just plant the cart more towards the middle of the track and then just stick the cart there and stay there. And then I would just uh, drive it a little bit wider on each line and then uh, just defend a little bit better so you couldn't get around me. Uh, gearing wise, I had more top end speed than him. So I wasn't too worried about him trying to get by me on the straightaway. Uh, he tried a couple times, but then just ran out of gear. And that's when I knew uh, there is a big difference in gearing because he could suck up really hard on me on the straightaway and get next to me, but then he would be on the limiter and I'd just start pulling away again. Uh, it was really fun, good side to side racing a couple times going to turn one. I just got to thank TB Cart USA. Uh, excellent chassis, excellent. Uh, you know, all day I didn't touch anything. I just put rain tires on and sent it. Uh, there, I placed the car in the middle, and then watching his YouTube video when he posted the race, uh, he went on the outside or tried to make a, a, a move like a crossover move on the outside, made like a slight mistake, and then this final lap I was able to have a pretty nice gap. Uh, so definitely was super happy. Um, excellent way to knock off some of the rust. Uh, love going back to the S55 chassis. I should have <laughs> never left it. Yeah, it's like uh, my baby. It's so it's so fast. I just love it. Um, thanks to Miguel again, jam racing, doing some motor builds, testing out the waters. Engine ran great all day. Setup was perfect. Uh, thanks for everybody for supporting, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully, I get more more a uh, 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 track time next time on the videos. Sorry about that. What's up everyone? Uh, this is a couple days after Anderson. I'm doing a complete tear down the chassis. You guys know how I like uh, after a race weekend, I like to completely tear down the chassis, uh, take basically everything off, make sure nothing's bent, uh, put it all back together, clean it up, and then I get ready for the following race weekend. But uh, awesome job, Anderson. Um, to be honest, before going out to that track, uh, you would need brand new tires like <laughs> Woo! Anderson was one track that I would not go to without brand new tires if I want to be competitive and whatever they did to a track resurfacing re whatever um, tires lasted like Heath was on like 25 session old tires uh, I was on old tires uh, it's it's great for the sport though because it keeps the cost low uh, to all the new individuals that went out there, uh, awesome job seeing you. Uh, please come back out. Uh, we love to keep the sport growing. And then when you feel more comfortable, check out the uh, CKNA Southern Series that just came out uh, for the South. Uh, I know Charlotte's too close for you guys to make that big of a jump. Um, if you want to learn the most, though, going to a big event like that is where you learn the most. Uh, I was able to pull off the win. Luckily for me, I did some really good driving. <laughs> with a couple laps to go uh, with two laps to go I did some really good driving uh, missed the gearing um, just by like a tooth or two um, listen to Heath Heath was way faster than me so he could pull that 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 gear a little bit better but uh, I was definitely not the fastest on track uh, Chris the one that finished behind me he was quicker than me um, Ron was flying he was like three tenths faster than us uh, Heath was faster than me. Uh, senior almost ran the same lap times as me. I just got a really good start, and then Heath made a mistake and cleared the back half of the track. So it was basically a two car breakaway. Um, but definitely fun times. Can't wait to see you guys again. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for all the support. Uh, you know, just love it. Uh, thanks for everything, and we'll catch you on track soon enough. Remember, when in doubt, just send it. What's the worst that can happen? All right. Chris, just send it next time. He had me for sure. Like, there was a couple times he could have made a couple moves earlier in the race. He was having a little brake issue, so I understand that. He didn't want to take me out. I mean, just send it. Side pod me. It'll be fine. <laughs> just make sure you drive away after you do it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.